Good morning, folks. We've got space weather at both the Sun and Earth now. The solar flares return with an M2 class X ray event from the departing sunspot group on the southern hemisphere. That active region is heading for the far side of the Sun now. We had some surface events, and we've got plasma filaments dancing in north and south, but no Earth directed eruptions. The filaments are beginning to face Earth now. Coming to the solar wind, some very dense waves have sent Earth into further instability, producing a level 2 geomagnetic storm this morning. This also has implications for the earthquakes, as prominently displayed over at QuakeWatch.net, there's generally not large earthquakes during the peak of geomagnetic events, so anything big will likely have to wait a bit longer. Well, what about before yesterday's magnetic disruptions kicked in? Jupiter had conjoined, coronal hole was facing Earth. Had we seen any semblance of an uptick? Well, here are the five largest quakes of the last 10 days. Two of them were during this high quake watch index with the New Zealand rumble actually being a six pointer on most lists. While we wait for more, see what's coming, Look at the top article of the day, Hubble zooming in on a spectacular sight, but get this, even while recognizing the cosmic jet aspect to this bipolar flow of material, the experts claim it is gravity that makes this shape, not electromagnetism, not electrostatic forces, gravity simply irreconcilable with reality. Website members, I'll get out a deeper look today if my daughter isn't on rocket fuel again. And everyone, in addition to time running out to get your tickets for observing the frontier, it is estimated that up to half of all the hotel rooms in Pittsburgh are already gone that weekend due to local sporting events. As you check out perfect penumbral ridges in the outer arms of the earth spot known as Kilo, Know that the two western systems are now gone, leaving just these three in the central and eastern Pacific, while Erica is still churning at the edge of the Caribbean. And the good news is that the tracks are shifting out to sea. Lucky Florida. I found more than 9,000 record heat articles from the last day, and only two about record cold. There are more cold records and cold areas in the U.S. at this moment than those above average. But say la vie. Could have flash flooding in the central states off that convergence line there. A convergence in the North Atlantic as well. Not a coincidence it's geometrically lined up with a low to the north of it. And down under it's a bit crowded, but remember, we're looking for clockwise sucking in lows in the southern hemisphere. We've got shots of our star to close. It's 6.05 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.